Educators know communication is often the key to learning. But for students who have trouble hearing, it can be just one of the many challenges they face at school. In the Ralston School District, educators are changing things up to give them the best experience possible inside the classroom. When I help the students understand, oh, it's great because it's like we have the same language, we have the same culture. It feels, they feel better. William Jeffrey teaches students through his own experiences. The interaction with the students, that is the best thing. You know, chatting with all of them, grow, seeing them grow. In the Ralston School District, deaf or hard of hearing students are able to learn alongside students inside traditional classrooms. We have to learn to live within our world and our world is becoming smaller as people are becoming more connected. And so it's important that we learn to work with a variety of individuals. Jeffrey attended the Nebraska School for the Deaf, but following his daughter's success, who's also deaf at a mainstream school, Jeffrey says he sees the benefits of keeping her in public school. If deaf are socializing with hearing kids, you, it could apply to their future skills by communicating how they can write back and forth together, they can do gestures, they can text. It's important because it's better than just sitting back and not knowing how to socialize. And deaf educators agree. It's also important because we live in such an inclusive world, you have to learn to work with everybody. Diane Meyer, director of the Suburban Schools Program, works with more than 20 school districts providing services to deaf or hard of hearing students. Students are placed in the center-based program in the Ralston School District through a contract with their resident district based on educational needs identified by the students' IEP goals and objectives. Right now, 30 students are being served in the Ralston School District. They need to be able to experience everything that everybody else has access to, and so as long as the program they're in can give that to them, go for it. Meyer also says technology has made it easier for deaf students to navigate through mainstream schools. That probably is our biggest change in the entire field is the technology for the kids to be able to give them access. The students who need it use these cochlear implants which provide a sense of sound. And interpreters are always there for students because for kids like Jadella, it's more than school. Her classroom is a safe space that helps her grow. Meyer says they do have shortages in both deaf education teachers and interpreters, so those positions are always needed. You can learn more about the Suburban Schools program by visiting the Ralston District website.